Dear colleagues, it's a privilege to share some thoughts with you all on the eve of the festival season. On October 23, 2014, when the festival of Diwali is celebrated, I shall also be completing 100 days in office. The support, affection and encouragement of IOCians and others have been overwhelming, making one realize the responsibilities. At the same time, the inspiration eggs me on to do more and to work harder. When I took over, I had a good overview of this great organization. However, the past few days gave me a closer look to the in-depth knowledge and analysis of the functioning of each division. The more I attempt to study the systems, the more I tend to repose confidence on the fact that although there are many challenges, Indian oil has the tremendous growth opportunities. While reflecting on the past few days, foremost is the recent decision of the Government of India to decontrol HSD prices. While this has been anticipated by us for the last several years, the day finally dawned on 18th October 2014. To meet this fabulous opportunity, we need to demonstrate that we are the champs even in an open environment. I strongly believe that while being a PSU, we have in our people and the vast network the core 3C square competence and capacity, commitment and confidence, connect and care. We have proven this time and again. We had a recent review on the preparedness for deregulation. We are even more confident that whatever were the gaps earlier, we have been able to bridge them successfully. Battle to retain share and leadership in the market would be faced by the field force. However, it is important to recognize that it is going to be the collective strength of every IOCN that is going to determine our future success. Hence, the impact of deregulation on the organization is beyond divisions and disciplines and concerns each and every one of us. We must take on this challenge together and reinforce that for Indian oil, every challenge is an opportunity and we would only get better with each of them. Role of our channel partners is equally vital and we must utilize their combined strength to make Indian oil the choice of the customers. Government has also taken a decision to relaunch direct benefit transfer in LPG. While we are the pioneer in getting the scheme conceptualized and implemented earlier in 2013-14, we need to further keep ourselves abreast about the changes in the scheme, update our officers and distributors about the reorientation and make our software systems fully equipped, flexible and always up to cater to the demand of the millions of LPG customers we have. I am confident that the All India rollout of DBTL will be another feather in the cap for the corporation. Government has also come out with a new gas policy. While the same may not have impact on our area of focus right now, I am happy to share with you that we are making significant progress in LNG to become the most cherished supplier in the country. Carefully planned strategy of having our own infrastructure for LNG import is now approved by the board. We shall be developing and constructing import and regasification facility for LNG at NO by 2017-18. We have already tied up sourcing of 1.2 million tons from our share in the PNW project in Canada as well as another 0.7 million tons from our tie-up of shale gas from USA. I am sure that our business development group is fully focused on the gas projects to keep up pace with the transformation to increasing use of natural gas as a fuel. Paradi project, the biggest infrastructure project in the country, is fast becoming a reality. We are confident of dedicating the project to the nation by early next year. Our refinery team is constantly working to tie up all ends for start of commissioning activity. Another important project is conceptualization of our first international pipeline. Based on commitment of our Prime Minister, we have at a record time worked to prepare the project framework of the pipeline between Raksol and Amlek Ganj in Nepal. The project is at the stage of signing of MOU between both the countries and expected to take nearly two years to complete. Our pipelines and marketing group is fully focused on the development. Yesterday I had a detailed review of the new initiatives being taken by our HR group. I am highly impressed by the theme HR equal to we care and the commitment and enthusiasm shown by the divisional HR heads and their teams during the review. The group had conceptualized the theme quite well and I am confident that they would give a new dimension to our core values and connect with our employees deeper with this initiative. Besides the sheer passion to look for newer areas in business, I am deeply touched by the commitment of our employees at the times of crisis. You are all aware of the recent cyclone Hoodhood. The damage caused by the cyclone not only changed the landscape of the port city of Vizag, but also made it the first city in the country to be directly hit by a cyclone since 1891. The devastation caused in Vaisakhapatnam has affected many lives and the economy. 
Indian oil extended all possible support in trying to bring in normalcy in the region. During the recent floods in Kashmir, aviation teams at Srinagar, Jammu, Leh and Chandigarh airports as well as Avantipur Air Force Base worked round the clock to cater to the additional refueling requirements of rescue operations undertaken by the Indian Armed Forces. Many other initiatives were taken by the dedicated teams of Indian Oil towards supporting livelihood in the affected region and bring in normalcy of pure oil supplies in the shortest possible time. I would like to convey my appreciation for the enormous efforts made by our employees in the wake of the recent cyclone and in Kashmir floods. The floods in Assam was another instance when IOCNs put in great efforts and were in the forefront in tackling adverse conditions in flood hit areas, trying to restore normalcy to public life. I salute all those who have risen to these occasions and provided yeoman service to the nation. While taking pride in our achievements and potential for more, I wish to reiterate on the themes which I narrated in my early messages such as sustaining leadership, operational excellence, investing in our people, leveraging assets, financial prudence and enhancing reputation. I know many of you are currently working on these themes which are being constantly monitored by our directors. While striving for excellence, should be the hallmark of all our endeavors, focus should be on creating benchmarks in the oil and gas industry. The environment is dynamic and being a major player, we need to protect volumes in order that our primacy does not get compromised. However, this needs to be done with a clear view on cost competence. It is important to simplify the way of working and synergize our initiatives. At Indian Oil, we have always emphasized on the use of state-of-the-art technology in operations. Though we are quick in adopting to the latest technology, it is extremely important to maintain our operational performance. For refineries, optimizing operations and maintenance go a long way towards increasing profitability. Market conditions are indeed challenging for the refineries in the 21st century. Variation in crude and product prices, lower demand and fluctuating energy costs cut into profit margins. Compliance with tighter environmental and safety regulations can be both difficult and expensive. At the same time, the opportunity to increase profit by refining cheaper grade crudes requires machines to run at higher efficiency. Therefore, maintenance of equipments and machines become all the more important to ensure operational excellence. Refining is one of our core activities and we need to consolidate and excel in this business component. In pipelines, major concerns regarding the health of assets and fight against pilferage have to be addressed comprehensively. Our marketing business has to take pole position in order to ensure we stay ahead of the impending competition. We need to simultaneously grow in petrochemicals, gas and alternative fuel business besides integrating into upstream exploration and production which can yield handsome returns. We have already made considerable forays into the petrochemicals business. However, we need to strive hard to try and attain leadership position especially in the niche products. Panipat Nafta Cracker Plant operated at 114% efficiency in August 2014 which is a tremendous achievement. Major gains have also been made in petrochemicals and gas sales with improvement of 9.3% and 14% respectively. I would like to congratulate each one of you on these achievements. While safety consciousness has improved and we have won many awards, it is important to be aware that safety in every deed is going to benefit us as an organization which we should always be conscious about. Our R&D Center won all the Petrofed award trophies for innovation across team and individual categories. Indian Oil also won the Gold Award in the Reader's Digest Trusted Brand Survey 2014 India in the category of petrol stations, making it the most trusted petroleum brand in India. It is also a proud moment when Team Indian Oil finished fourth at the International Management Games competition on business simulations held in Russia in which teams from various continents participated. All these awards and accolades give us immense pride and also bring upon us greater responsibility. Swachh Bharat Mission was initiated by the Honorable Prime Minister on October 2nd, 2014. I am glad that every IOCN has been actively participating in the mission. I have been informed about various initiatives undertaken at different locations of Indian Oil and I request each one of you to continue the commitment towards making India clean. Cleanliness is one of the vital qualities of a civilization. Cleanliness starts from each of us. It brings us progress and improvement in all fields of activities. A clean nation is what we all dream of and it is our duty to keep India clean. It is through our operational excellence and a commitment of each Indian oil employee that has enabled us to a safe, healthy and secure working environment. I would like to say that our corporation is now passing through a time posing both challenges and opportunities. Using the collective strength of all IOCNs, we shall continue to sustain our current leadership and also emerge as winners in all sectors where we intend to step in. We are in the 10th month of the year. 
according to the Indian calendar, it is a month of festivities. This is the time when we look back on everything that we have achieved over the past year and we recuperate our strength to deal with the challenges ahead. Let us once again reinforce our commitment towards Indian oil and through our dedicated service and hard work ensure that our corporation reaches greater heights in the near future. I wish each one of you and your family members happiness in the festive season. Thank you.